Hey friends, my name's Corey, and today we're going to be counting down the most powerful attacks at Town Hall 11 after the update here in 2020. And coming in at number 5 on our list is an attack that you probably do not see very much in videos, and that's because this is a pretty old attack strategy, alright? But we're seeing this used a lot by a lot of guys and a lot of clans that maybe haven't caught up with the new meta yet, or just don't like or not used to the new meta attacks quite yet, and they just have no reason to move on from this Pekka Smash attack strategy because it's still quite powerful at Town Hall 11. In fact, back when we got the Siege Barracks, it became even stronger because now you got another side of the funnel taken care of and you got some back end hogs to really help out with this attack strategy. This is all about funneling, man. Funneling both sides so you can get those Pekkas and Bowlers into the base, jumping them through the majority of the base. And then a lot of times, if you have a heal for these maxed out hog riders, that are coming out of that siege barracks, those hog riders are able to go around the defensive ring and clean up a nice little section or chunk of the base that wasn't otherwise reached by the Pekkas, man. And this thing is carried by that power of the raged up healed bowlers, getting through the first part of the base, dealing a lot of damage in a short amount of time, and then finished out on the power of those Pekkas, man. Look how many Pekkas we got left sitting there at full health. Pekkas are absolute monsters. There was several years there where Pekkas were completely out of the meta, and so as a result, with every update, with every balance change, Supercell would just give them another little buff, man. A little more health, a little more DPS. And then finally, by the time we realized that P.E.K.K.A.s were insanely powerful, they had already been buffed so many times. They were the monsters that they have become today. Look at this, man. We got a couple We got a P.E.K.K.A., a couple P.E.K.K.A.s and a King down here. We got healers that are swapped to the Grand Warden. There's just nothing really left in this base that's going to be able to chew through those three tanks left on the field while those ones are tanking we got a few loons and wizards sneaking in to grab a couple more defenses but it is the power of those pekkas that's going to be finishing out the triple man those pekkas are monsters and they refuse to die fam coming in at number four on our list we've got queen charge attack strategies now this can mean many different attack strategies all right queen charge lava loon queen charge hogs queen charge miners all right these things uh it just kind of depends which one you're going to go with on which heroes you're going to be able to destroy it with your queen charge of course you're going to want to grab some other big value in the base multi-targets are good eagle artilleries are good going to want to get that cc killed after you get that part planned take a look at which heroes you're going to be able to kill with your charge and that's going to be able to help you determine which queen charge attack is going to be the best on this one he's going to be taking out that enemy archer queen as you know she's very dangerous to balloons so queen charge lava loon becomes a very good option for this base guys if you're going to be queen charge and both of the heroes queen charge hogs is probably going to be a good option because king and queen will both target and take out your hog riders as they move through the base and if you got a monster queen charge it's going to get great defensive value in that defensive cc maybe a multi maybe an eagle maybe st some other good pathing some other good defenses but maybe you're not going to kill both of those heroes or maybe you're just not going to be able to kill the queen then you're going to come in with that the minor attack strategy as part of that queen charge you just take a look at that man because those miners are good at killing heroes they kill the queen they'll kill the king man they don't care they'll just move their way through the base and uh, got a bit of a uh, an admission we do have one more queen charge attack that's going to be making its debut later on in this video if you feel like i've forgotten one just hang in there guys and queen charges in general have gotten so much stronger over the last several updates first of all we got that automatic queen ability the big danger about queen charge was worrying about deploying other troops and spells while also not missing that queen ability so many times we'd miss that queen ability and because of that our attacks would fall short that has become a very uncommon thing now with that that automatic queen ability that they put into the game and most smart players have already gotten that set and it makes those queen charges that much easier and that much more powerful and then of course the super wall breaker has been a massive boost to all of our queen charges so with those additions queen charges that were already super powerful are now even easier more accessible and more powerful inside town hall 11 all right fam coming in at the number three spot on our list is the brand new only a few weeks old now since the last update when they updated those lightning spells friends we got the zap attack strategies just like the queen charges there is several of these and depending on which heroes you're going to get and what you want to accomplish can determine which zap attack you're going to want to pick all right we got zap hogs zap miners zap hybrid even zap dragons and zap 
Electro Dragons. Oh my god, you guys, there are so many zap attacks, and just like we said with Queen Charge, we've got one more that stands above the rest that's going to be making an appearance a little bit later on in this video, higher up on those power rankings levels. Look at this, man. The zap got some big time damage right there. Got the CC taken out. The Sui is going to be taking out both enemy heroes at Town Hall 11, the Barbarian King, and the Archer Queen, and because that Hog Riders is going to be a really good option for the rest of this base. On this particular particular attack he decided to use a blimp because we got that central eagle artillery man and if you just target that blimp towards the town hall directly across from the eagle artillery you're going to be able to get that blimp in there no problem at all man depending on where this queen is she might try to break this wall and go after that eagle nope she's not she's going to continue moving on to the right the blimp is going to go in take out the eagle artillery what does he got in there man a bunch of valkyries i like that call man because just in case enemy decided to have a ton of skelly traps in there the, the Valkyries would have taken, torn through those, no problem whatsoever. We got the Grand Warden ability covering those piggies through that Eagle Artillery Blast, and now they're moving in through the backside of this base. Heroes are down, CC's down, Eagle Artillery's down. We got a beautiful, thin little path for those Hog Riders, and friends, he's able to bring three heal spells at Town Hall 11, because when you bring those two max lightning spells inside of your clan castle there, then you're able to take out the, the defending clan castle with only six lightnings and an earthquake instead of the seven that is usually required but pro tip if you plan on zapping the eagle artillery you're still going to need to bring seven of your own lightnings because the two maxed out ones are not going to be quite enough dps to get the eagle artillery taken out with just six lightning spells fam this base is absolutely annihilated zap attack strategies coming in at number three on this list all right, friends, coming in at the number two spot on our list today is going to be Zap Lava Loon. This one stands over and above the rest of the Zap attack strategies just because of the strength of Lava Loon attack strategy. All right. Now, this is an incredibly powerful attack strategy when used, when used correctly by a skilled player. And that's a big part of the reason I got that at number two on the list for the vast majority of casual clashers out there. Highly skilled Lava Loon attacks are going to be a little bit out of reach. So for most people, our next attack strategy is going to be the most powerful. But if you've got the skills of the flight with Lava Loon, then this is probably the strongest attack in Clash of Clans right now. All right, we saw Ethan go in there and zap the enemy Archer Queen, which is huge value for a Lava Loon attack strategy, along with the Clan Castle and several other defenses in there as well. Now, you don't have to zap the queen all right but zapping that clan castle is a pretty good idea if you're not going to zap the queen make sure you get her killed either with your sui heroes or by bringing a dragon inside the blimp and making sure or excuse me the stone slammer and making sure to deploy that in an area where it's going to break right next to her and the dragons can get her taken care of if all that fails don't even worry overly much because you can still kill the queen as part of the lava loon just make sure to ha target her area heavily with hounds get those loons in close to behind to support get that grand warden ability in there and when you've got plenty of minions or popped lava pups on the board pop that grand warden ability that can usually keep them invincible throughout the queen kill so you have so many different opportunities to get the queen killed during this attack strategy and if you can manage that and you got the skills of deployment then this is an incredibly strong incredibly powerful attack strategy arguably the most powerful one inside clash of clans right now and you're going to notice that if you turn on to the pro leagues all right if you turn on to like the world championship qualifiers you're going to be seeing this attack strategy used quite a lot because those highly skilled players know how to use it correctly and they know just how powerful it is man this sucks for ethan bro he's got both sweepers left in the core but he's got so many loons that even a dangerous section like sweepers and multi-target infernos they're just not going to be enough to stop this number of loons left over man lava loon is so powerful i've been using this quite a lot at town hall 11 lately myself and i've been wrecking an awful lot of bases with it man the sweepers are going to try and delay those loons but there's just no defenses left to do damage so it's just a matter of cleanup at this point guys this base is crushed and finally coming in at the number one spot man you might have guessed it already because it just has not changed very very close call between the hybrid queen charge hybrid and the zap lava loon attack strategy both incredibly powerful attacks 
both very versatile but the hybrid is a little bit more accessible it's a little bit easier to pull off than a complicated lava loon attack strategy and for that reason and uh, just the sheer versatility of it man you really can queen charge hybrid any base design out there at town hall 11 it's kind of still a no-brainer in that number one spot but since we got so many new attack strategies with the last update we're not seeing hybrid being used on virtually every attack like we were before the update so although it is arguably just as strong as it was before the update we're still seeing a lot bigger variety of attacks used man sometimes people just get bored of an attack strategy so even though it's still incredibly powerful it's not being used all the time like it was before that being said man it is just as strong as it was before beautiful thing about this attack strategy you're combining the power of those miners with the power of the hog riders and and that siege barracks it just pairs so perfect with that siege barracks man as long as you can queen charge for some value the miners and the pigs can take care of the rest the miners are able to kill those enemy heroes if you're not able to kill those on the queen charge uh, so you don't have to worry about killing that queen or getting that value first you just want to make sure you're going to get that clan castle killed and dealt with get some other good value multi-target infernos lots of really good pathing eel artillery are all really good value for that queen charge but you have the versatility on the backside of this attack strategy to take out really any of that stuff that you happen to miss so as long as you're getting enough value with that queen charge you really get to choose what value that's going to be because chances are the miners and the pigs can take care of the rest of it fam so click that button in the middle of the screen if you have not already subscribed to this channel if you're already a subscriber check out one of the other videos on your screen right now and we'll keep hanging out friends i'll see you in the next video